Good morning and welcome to our Wednesday morning Time in the Word devotional. I'm Pastor Will, and it's great having you with us here today. I'd like to open up our time together this morning by reading to you from the Gospel of Luke, Luke chapter 3, verses 16 to chapter 4, verse 11. Hear the word of the Lord. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit of God into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting forty days and forty nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand at the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, Throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him, and the angels came and attended him. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your word this morning. Now pray, Lord, your blessings upon us as we come before it. Open our eyes, Lord, to the truth you would have for us to learn. We do pray this in your most holy name. Amen. We all battle with temptation from time to time. And if you should say to me that you never battle with temptation, well, all I can say is I'm tempted not to believe you. Even Jesus battled with temptation. As we look at our morning's passage, we find some helpful truth concerning temptation and how to deal with temptation when it hits us head on. So let's see what these truths are. First of all, we see that temptation often comes on the heels of spiritual victory. You see, Satan doesn't just wait for those moments to tempt us when we are our spiritually weakest, but often when we think we are our strongest. Jesus had just been baptized by John the Baptist in the River Jordan and there heard the praise of his heavenly Father. This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. No greater words to hear than that, right? Yet Jesus went straight from that spiritually high moment into the wilderness temptations. See, temptation comes when we think, we are the most spiritually strong because that is when it thinks it can catch us unaware. Therefore, we need to always be prepared for those moments that Satan tempts us. In regards to this, we need to remember the words of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12, where Paul says, So if you think you are strong, if you think you stand firm, be careful that you do not fall. You can never be too prepared, my friends. Secondly, we also see here in our morning's passage that the Word of God is key, key to battling temptation. Each time when tempted, Jesus declared, it is written. Jesus quotes scripture in the face of temptation. If he did, How much more do we need to do so as well? My friends, God's word, you see, shines 
shines light in the very, upon the very lies of Satan, exposing them. Temptation often comes and thrives in the darkness. Let us seek to shine the light of God's word in that darkness. Then lastly, thirdly, we read here in our mornings in, a, in our another passage dealing with the same events we're reading here in our passage before us that the devil left him, left Jesus until an opportune time signified the temptation. Temptation will be an ongoing event throughout one's life. And we need to to focus on a closer relationship with God prior to those moments of temptation. Through prayer, through Christian fellowship, and again through the study of God's word. In doing so, we will be in a much stronger position when Satan comes attempting. Don't wait for the temptation to hit to grow closer to God. Seek that closeness now before the temptation comes upon you. Well, that's about it from here this morning on Time in the Word. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great week. And I hope to see you in church this coming Sunday. Till next time on Time in the Word, blessings. I'll catch you later.